Hi, good morning. This is an update to uh, the Defender Step project that's currently underway. This is the electronics that's going to control it, basically. Uh, it's starting to get a little bit complicated uh, in my mind, as I usually do when I uh, do a project. Um, it's an air actuated step, as you may be aware of the previous videos. Um, and the air actuator control unit, unfortunately, is 24 volts. Uh, the truck is 12 volts, so uh, there's a little buck control unit here that um, has 12 volts going into it, 24 volts out, and that'll feed the actuator um, as and when I open the doors. So uh, that, that's the extra little complicated bit. I'm also um, going to be adding um, puddle lights to the steps, um, trying to get into the 21st century, I guess. Uh, so when the doors open, the steps will deploy but also I'm gonna have three LEDs on either side um, that's gonna light up, um, hence puddle light. So I, in the dark, I'm gonna be able to see where I'm standing when I get out of the truck. Uh, four LEDs down the side, I like the LEDs, um, hence that's why there's four of them there. It's just showing there's 12 volt supply, 24 volt supply. Uh, when the doors open and when the steps are deployed. This is going to be put into a plastic box, so you're not going to see it, but nevertheless. I did promise the PCB, I've gone to Vera board. Um, it's a quick quick and easy method for myself. Um, you see there's two LEDs here. This is indicating uh, the, the position of the actuator, if you like, whether it's up or down, uh, just for a demo here. This is acting as a puddle light. Uh, just off frame there's a switch um, which is acting like the door switch so if I was flick the door switch or open the door effectively um, it's telling me the door switch is open or the door is open I should say and the step has been deployed and the puddle light is illuminated here you can see that's illuminated so if I pretend I close the truck door puddle light fades off um, and I go back to the, just the 24 and the 12 volt supply. Uh, there's a couple LEDs here, just up and down. It, it, again, this is just for demo um, and make sure the circuit works okay. Uh, I'm going to put that into the box that's going to be hidden in the car, so I'm not going to see any of the LEDs even if uh, I wanted to. Uh, but they'll be under the passenger seat, so I can get access to this module if I wish. Uh, it's, there's a six-way connector to the little box you'll see in a moment. Uh, so I can easily remove it from the truck and uh, repair it if necessary. Uh, the buck control module here, uh, it's a Banggood special again, it's about £3, so it's not a whole lot of money. Uh, the reliability is good, I've got them in the garage on an Arduino um, powering the central heating. But if we just, you know, see I've put that on legs, um, only on the... I'm not suspicious it's going to fail, but if it does, it's easy enough to replace it. That's the main reason I've done it on legs there. So that just simply pops back into the headers. Like so. Um, if need be, easily replaceable. Uh, these caps, I'm going to put a little bit of glue against them so they don't rock around in the car. Uh, vibrations, etc. And I may tie wrap this device in. I am quite decided, yeah. But let's get the cables off. I'll put it into the box, um, and I'll show you what show show you how it goes on from there. That's the connector I'm going to use. It's a six-way connector. I've put some wires on the end, and uh, there's a mate in the plug to go with it. So that's going to be easily detachable from the truck. It's threaded, so there's no vibrations going to pop that out when I'm driving. Not that it's the end of the world, but uh, nevertheless, it's going to stay how I, I, I'd like it to stay. So yeah, as I keep saying, I'll get it in the plastic box and I'll show you a little bit more. Okay, that's the circuit mounted in the box I've got. It's turned out quite neat. Um, yeah, quite happy with that. Uh, the connector there, that's the one I need to wire into the truck. Uh, on this box that I got from Banggood, is a little while ago now, so I probably haven't got the link. They're only like that pound each delivered it's got a clear lid so that'll go on the top four screws that'll tuck down the passenger seat jobs are good um, I do have the indicators the LED indicators if I need them 
Um, but hopefully I'm not going to get a problem, but it'd be good for diagnosing um, should anything happen like that. So yeah, I'll carry on with the project. We'll get this tucked away. Um, I'll put the uh, pneumatic gear in the uh, under the passenger seat as stated in the previous video if you want to have a look at that um, so we're only a couple of no pun intended steps away from completing the deployable steps on the on the defender so hopefully next week or the week after that'll all be done and you'll be able to see it i will have to paint it so that's going to take a week or so for by the time i've done the undercoat and let it dry then do the overcoat then another overcoat then fitted it to the truck but uh, definitely progress is being made here so right i hope you like that if, if you find it interesting um please give me a thumbs up and subscribe because there will be a couple more uh, episodes to the step saga so yeah thank you